Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy, episode 8. In this episode we are going to be going and meeting Sebastian. In the shadow of the Undercroft, I can probably find Sebastian at his usual spot in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. So that is what we are going to do today. Um, if we have time, we will try to do some side quests and other things like that. Um, in a, another video in the future, I will be creating Mom's Wizarding Room when I get other things that are required, unlocked, and able to get everything unlocked to create a room. Um, or at least the majority of things unlocked. But anyways, this is what I have so far. I haven't really touched anything other than keeping everything kind of scientific. Um, I've messed around with the lighting a little bit, but other than that, not much. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and do our quest. Um, I don't think I have enough to make Wigan Weld. Yeah. So I've only got eight Wigan Weld potions, so I need to definitely, uh, up my up game for that stuff and then those will be watered and when I come back I'll grab them. Um, what other quests do we need to do first before we move on? Uh, know that one for sure. Okay and then we have I need to acquire and use a focus potion and I need to use an idrius and a maxima potion at the same time that and then there's one two three four five six seven side quests all right so we have seven side quests uh one um professor assignment quest and one currently uh main quest so we're gonna go do the main quest I need to put on my robe, seeing as I am going to be heading back into the Hogwarts. <laughs> I don't want to feel inappropriate and underdressed for that, so having that on just helps, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, where are we going, magic book? That way. Oh. Nicholas is actually admiring the constellations and stuff. It's pretty cool. For a second there, I thought it was a student. And then I'm like, wait, there's no students that are ghosts as far as I know, other than one that helped us find pages and kept it safe, Jack Doll. So that was interesting. <laughs> and it looks to be very dark outside right now because no sun is shining. That must be nighttime currently. Because I also don't see a lot of students roaming the halls either. Game catch up. Oh, <laughs> they're dancing. It's not like I've seen the ghost dance before. That was cute. Mm, there's a side quest oh. here. A rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. And Sebastian's right there. We'll do this. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. But I have ways out of these things. 
Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Interesting. Secrets we be keeping? Doesn't There's surprise me. Passage <laughs> just here. It's well disguised. Honestly, doesn't surprise me with Slytherin having secrets. Interesting. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Then why would you tell me? I'm a blabber. <laughs> no, actually I'm not. I'm pretty a secretive person. I think person. I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Mm. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon you using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Thanks. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. Last thing curse. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Nice. Okay, let's do it. Let us put Confringo. Hmm. Damn, where do I put it? <laughs> I guess we'll put it on Y for right. Oop, wrong one. Put it on Y for right now. That was the right one, right? Okay. Confringo. Nice work. How does it feel? 
It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. To this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. If your sister is unwell, she may not want visitors. Meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. Trust me, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Very well. Let me know when and I'll meet you. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ramrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Yeah, we're not going to tell him everything quite yet. We've already told Natty because we trust Natty pretty well. Hmm. More secrets? Yes, there be. I think we got the blasting curse, though, under control. To be honest with you. Thanks, Sebastian. I promise I won't tell anybody. At least not on purpose. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Shit. You there? <gasps> I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? <sighs> oh, do I tell him the truth? Or do I not? We'll do him a solid. He did us a solid. Let's do him a solid. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. <clears throat> no one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. 
I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Well, we tried. <laughs> Let us do this side quest that's in here. And this was the... where is it at? Quest viewer. Uh, goblin camp, spent witches, a pippin, hidden herbology, cash in the Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Well, will do, Professor Fig. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Sure thing, Professor Garlic. All right, let's see where his Rebellion. treasure map leads. I'm gonna hit that button. No path available. Hmm. What was the? I think it was an inventory. Here. These are letters. Ancient pages. Arthur's map. There's. Okay. I need to go up the stairs to a painting and use Accio on it. I hope I'm, I'm reading that right. Unless I was downstairs and I'm totally reading it wrong. Watch me be reading it wrong. Eh, it wouldn't surprise me. Darn it, I can't. <laughs> um, let's actually go to the... Transfigurations, oops, Transfigurations, uh, Courtyard, I believe is what it was called. The one with the dragon globe looking thing, the Wyvern, Wyvern, however you want to pronounce it. I believe it was out these doors. Yeah. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Oh, hello. Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, 
I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Hmm, okay. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Alright, I'll look for the flying keys in a little bit. I'm a little busy. I gotta figure out which way I'm going though. I gotta reset the quest because that quest took forever. Was Ash in the castle. Off on another adventure, are we? Pretty calico kitty. Okay. I did not select the fucking quest. <laughs> I hate when this happens. Like, I go to select the key quest and then I just, like, nah. You don't get to have that quest selected. Stairwell looks promising. I adore decorating for the holidays. I can never have too many berries. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Oh, that's weird. Aha! There Whoa. was a doorway hidden within the portrait. That's pretty cool. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. That's pretty cool. <laughs> really neat. Um, let's we'll go back to Arthur. My mother sent me a house. Ooh, painting. Um. I totally forgot to Lumos. Never a dull moment when I go home for the holidays. Where is that at? Last year my mother swore she heard a banshee. That's a sleep sphinx. The sphinx is here. Maybe here. Don't know what that is. No, I think we're back on the outside. Hmm. I don't know where that's at. Ooh. Wait, how do you get back there? What? Oh. Okay. Hello. Weird. Hey, werewolves. Revelia. That's pretty cool. Werewolf anatomy. About how the moonlight affects them. How they're not dire wolves. Interesting. Oh. They all light up. That's weird. Werewolf Saga Tapestries. This set of tapestries tells the tragic tale of a witch bitten by a werewolf. She chose to flee from her home to protect her infant daughter and husband. 
Rumor has it that her daughter fell asleep to the howl of the wolf for years thereafter. Interesting. That must be the witch and her daughter. Hunting. Somebody spots something. A wolf with the baby in hand. Looks like she's weaving something for her daughter, like a blanket or a tapestry or something. Interesting. Hmm. Since wolves are affected by moonlight, do we think Lumos might have an effect? Lumos. Hmm. Maybe on the tapestries. That must be the mom. Hmm, she wasn't on horseback. Okay. Lumos. Her husband, hunting dog, and her. Looks like she was bit on the arm. But she wasn't bit there, so she must have been bit in between. <gasps> they ran after her. Her husband ordered her to die. Lumos. She was bandaged. Crying because she'll never be able to see her daughter and husband again. That's a sad trail. Pretty cool though that you can change the tapestries. I would assume it would be like a puzzle or something like to like put it in order because some of this seems out of order in my opinion. But you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> Is this change? Lumos. No. But it does show another werewolf tapestry. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I also like how the moonlight directly goes onto the werewolf. Very interesting. Pretty cool. Kind of interesting that that's behind that. You would have never known to actually hit there. If I didn't see that, I would have never known there was a door there. That's so cool. I was confused because of the lighting. <laughs> I thought it was a glitch. <laughs> The glitch in the matrix. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going. Probably hit that. I just witness. <laughs> what did I just witness? <laughs> oh my god, that was so brutal. <laughs> that was so brutal. Oh my god. Can I repair it? Oh my god. I, I need to repair it. <laughs> 
I feel so bad. Prepare it. It does not work. No. Badge. Take it. I was hoping it's gonna be able to help. I guess not. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Well, that was interesting. Finding all the secrets today. Go find Arthur. That was so brutal. I don't think I've ever seen the statues, the um, armor statues do that. That was highly brutal. <laughs> oh my god. I swear you learn something new every day in fucking Hogwarts. Made any progress with your treasure map? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. <laughs> that was quite fun. Revelio. Well, I think we're in the Astrology Tower. Yeah, I believe so. So we can go find one of them data dealing data dealing. <laughs> oh my god, I can't say it. The Dalian? There it is. The Dalian keys. Jesus, I can't speak. Having bad brain days. You wanna speak? Nah. You can speak in your head, but not out loud. <laughs> it's here somewhere? There it is. Excuse me, wow. I had to flip. Excuse me, saying it for love. Pretty sure that's you. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Way up here. A Dedalian key. Wonder where it might lead me. Where'd it go? I'm picking some fish. My dear Sativity. I am totally saying that wrong. You'll be pleased to hear that I have received word from a contact at Cambridge who conceded that they have, in fact, been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. Meteor showers. Seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built up upon the work done by an Italian astronomer. All muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust of Earth's orbit meaning as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. Only, only, one can only imagine that they might do with an enchanted telescope. 
frustratingly in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudium for from my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantner, Jantnar, Jantnar, whatever. <laughs> what an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and I do hope you are well. With love, Sestrita. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Oh boy. I had to figure out the button to hit. Please slap it. Sorry. <laughs> Finger. Ah, so close. We're getting there. Come on, do it. Do it, you know you want to. Do it. Ah, so close. My read time is not working right now. Hi. <laughs> That's all you hear. Oh my god, it was so close. I'm gonna have to hit it earlier than that. Oh my god! <laughs> so close! Yes! Got it! <laughs> Ooh! An old coin! Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. That was so hard. <laughs> I've actually never been up here before. That's pretty cool. Rebellia. Or have I? I think I've been up here at least once. You look familiar, but I don't know why. Level one unlock. All right. We'll talk to Nelly. Pardon me. Excuse me, but. Beep beep. Wee. <laughs> uh. Sure, I'm heading the right way because I've just been kind of <laughs> going randomly, like backwards from where I was originally going before. Alright. Nelly should be out here. Nelly! I found the Daedalian key. Were you able key. to follow one of the Daedalian keys? Yes. I have news. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant! What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I'd better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. Ooh. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. Maybe I should see this book? through and find the Gryffindor house chest. Yeah, should probably do that. Ooh, kitty. That's pet. <laughs> and then probably after we go back to our Gryffindor house, I'm going to talk to Professor Fig. 
I know we need to dwindle down our uh, side quest though. Eventually, eventually. We'll get there. Am I going the wrong way? I think I am. I am. I always think it's that way to go up to the Gryffindor house and I am always wrong. <laughs> and they travel everywhere. There's the lady of our Gryffindor house. Oh. Pavelio. Didn't really she had a thing in front of her. That lady portrait. This portrait guards the Gryffindor common room, requiring a password from anyone who wishes to enter. She and her friend Violet are known to wander amongst the other portraits, periodically helping themselves to vats of wine therein. <laughs> That's funny. Gotta have a best friend to drink with, let me tell you what. <laughs> As somebody. This must be my house chest. I just need to insert the token. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Well, looks like there's probably about 15. Find the remaining house tokens that are around Hogwarts. One out of 16. Okay, so there's 16. So I have 15 more to go. Woo. <laughs> That'll be a long side quest along with the Dedalian keys. So... Oh, that is a daily in case I'm an idiot. The other one that I'm thinking of right now. Or did I already do that one? I don't remember. My brain is melting. Okay, that one we have to do for a while. Alright, let us go work on the map chamber. And then probably after that we call it. Because I feel like we're getting pretty close to the hour mark. Report to Professor Fig. We are doing that right away. I think it is. Oops. We <laughs> I could probably stay in that room forever with all the musical instruments. <laughs> Good Ren Fair music. Want me own cottage? I am a fair person. Kitty. Ooh. You got a pattern almost of a bingle cap. I had a kitty cat that had a pattern very similar to that, but he had a shape on the side. Um, his name was originally Bonsai, but his he had a shape on his side of his uh, 
pattern coat that looked like the Batman symbol. <laughs> he was such a sweet cat. I'm so sad that, you know, he passed away. I miss that cat. He was so sweet. Professor Fig! There you are. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, well, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt You and... met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say that. Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkin so that he'd tell me how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton... I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Oh, you can definitely tell it was flooded. <laughs> to think it was beneath us all this time. map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. That's why it's called the map chamber. <laughs> Here to see this. <sighs> Rackham. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock, should you prove yourself worthy. 
the location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces Traces of a powerful, dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news, indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? Here we shall. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Thanks, Professor Fig. And thank you, Professor Rackham. All right. I believe that is going to conclude today's episode of Hogwarts Legacy, episode 8. We learned a new spell, Confringo. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Any more interruptions? <laughs> we have learned the... In <laughs> Confringo, Confringo spell from Sebastian. We learned a little bit more about him. We still don't trust him quite yet. And Fig had returned after we completed a side quest from his endeavors with the ministry. And we have now placed the book in the map chamber. And now we know why it is called a map chamber. On our next quest, we will not be doing the main quest. We will be completing some side quests for sure uh, to get leveled up because I have a feeling it says we're high enough level, but I don't know about that. I don't trust myself right now. 
we've got three professor assignments that we can learn um, during certain quests and stuff. And then we have all of these side quests that we need to do. There's a few of them, like the Dedalian keys, that we won't be able to do right away. And those will take time to do. Um, so yeah, I think what we'll probably do is start with top to bottom, minus the ones that require more time to do. We actually might do this one first because this one's like right, like these two are right at Hogwarts. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark Venomous Valor for our next quest to do. All right, guys, I think that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. If you guys would like to continue watching our playlist of Hogwarts Legacy of me playing as mom in Hogwarts. You can check that out here. And without further ado, that is the end of the video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Say baddie. Bye.